Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today we're doing an empties video and I have a ton of stuff. I was actually going to break this up into two different videos, but I think I can get it all done in this one video. Hopefully it's not going to be too long. I'll try to breeze through everything. So let's get started. Okay, first up I've got a bunch of candles. I have a bunch of the Glade candles, which I know I've said don't let me buy those Glade candles anymore because I really don't like them. Um, but I just get suckered in with the different fall scents and stuff that they have out. They're so cute. The names are absolutely adorable. Um, like this one here um, was not a very good candle. It had no throw, but the name is Fall Antiquing. I could not pass that up. It was so cute. It smells good in the jar. It just didn't have any throw, so I would not recommend that one. This was another one from Glade that I wouldn't really recommend, but it's called Apple Tree Picnic. I mean, seriously. And again, it smells absolutely delicious, but there was no throw on it, so I don't think I would repurchase that one. I did find this one from Glade called Pumpkin Pit Stop. I mean, seriously, these names, they just get me every time. This one was actually really, really good, so I definitely would consider purchasing this one again if I needed it. I've got quite a big backstock of candles right now, so I don't need it. But in case I run out and I need another pumpkin candle, this one I definitely would consider. It smelled really good, and the throw was decent on this one. This was a candle I picked up from Target. It was on clearance. It's by the brand Cal Caladria, I think, um, and it is green tea verbena. I definitely would not pay the $15 that this was originally. I think I paid like 4 or $5 for this on clearance. It smells nice and really fresh, but again, the throw on this was just not very good. Here is a Febreze candle. This was the first one I ever purchased. This is in the scent Pumpkin Bliss, and it smells okay. I liked the Glade Pumpkin one better, but the throw on this thing was crazy. So I definitely want to check out more of these Febreze ones because the throw was just amazing. I was really, really impressed with this one. One last candle, and this was the worst candle I think I've ever bought. I know I've said that about some other candles here on my channel, but nothing holds a candle to how horrible this candle was. Seriously. This one is from the brand Archaeology. I got it at Target. It is in the scent Tabac in Patchouli, and in the store, it smelled absolutely incredible. I can't even smell it in here anymore. There was absolutely no throw on this at all. Even when this was lit and I was like literally this close to it, I could not smell it. So I don't know what happened to that scent, but it just totally disappeared, which was really disappointing. And this is obviously a black container and the wax was black too, so it just looked really cool. And I kind of thought that you'd be able to see the flame through the glass here, like it would be kind of like translucent almost. No. This was pitch black when I was burning it, so you couldn't even see that the flame was on, which because you couldn't smell it and you couldn't see it totally defeats the purpose of even having a candle, and really because you couldn't see it is really dangerous. You could really just like forget about this, that it was even on, so I will not ever be purchasing another archaeology candle because it was total waste of money. I have a few random things this month. This is a big bottle of the Brog Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. I love this stuff. I always like to keep some of this in the house. I use it in my hair in the shower. Um, instead of using a conditioner like on the top part of my hair, I use this mixed with a little bit of water um, and it works really well. A lot of people can use this instead of an actual conditioner all over their hair, but my ends just get so poofy that I need the extra weight of a conditioner to like, kind of balance everything out. Here's a bottle of the Listerine Total Care Zero. I bought this big huge thing and it expired a couple months ago, so it just needs to go. I really like this stuff and I did repurchase it, but I got a smaller bottle so not as much goes to waste next time. One toothpaste this time. This is Colgate Total Advanced Whitening. I talked about how I always get Colgate um, for either free or like a dollar at CVS so I've got tons of backstock on these Colgates. Here's my last pair of contacts that I have. This is a good reminder to make a doctor's appointment this afternoon because I need to get a new prescription. These were the Biofinity Toric lenses. I've had these for a little over a year now and I don't like them. Unfortunately, because I do have to have Toric lenses, I can't get the night and day lenses, which I've heard are amazing for overnight extended wear, um, which is what I like to do. Um, and I know that's terrible, trust me, I know, but it's just what I've always done. Um, so I have to get these ones that are like approved for like seven days, and there's other ones, um, so I definitely would not get these ones again. I'd try to go for a different brand. I think like the AccuView Oasis ones, I think I've tried those before, and those were much better than these. Also for my contacts, I have a bottle of the OptiFree Replenish Contact Solution. Um, I always use OptiFree, I don't think it really matters to me like which version I use, um, but yeah, this stuff works just fine. All right, now onto the hair stuff. I don't have that much to talk about. Um, here is the Shea Moisture Superfruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System Hair Mask. 
Um, I used this whole thing, but it was way too moisturizing for my hair, and I like a really thick moisturizer. Um, obviously, this is a hair mask, but usually I use a hair mask um, just as an everyday conditioner. This stuff I actually ended up mixing with a regular conditioner, and then it was okay, um, but just on its own, it was way too moisturizing for my hair and like weighted down way too much, um, so I would not repurchase that. Here's a bottle of the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. This is the moist version. I've heard a lot of YouTubers talk about this, so I saw it at the store and decided to try it. It's less than three bucks at Target, and I have to say, I'm super impressed with this stuff. I just use this as a regular conditioner every day, just um, on the bottom part of my hair, and it works really well, and you really just can't beat that price. Here's an Oscar Blondie dry shampoo. Um, I personally don't think this did much for my hair. And I had heard a lot of good things about this on YouTube, so I was expecting this to be a good product, but I didn't think it was that great. Um, I think I got this in an Allure Beauty Box, um, but I definitely would not repurchase. Here's something from an Ipsy bag. This is the Briogeo Blossom and Bloom Ginseng and Biotin Volumizer Blow Dry Spray. I use this a lot even when I wasn't blow drying my hair, and I think it was a nice volume spray. I've got a few other ones that I'm working through right now, so I'm not going to purchase this, but if I ever run out, I definitely would keep this one in mind. It was pretty good. All right, one last little hair thing. This is the Bumble and Bumble BB Straight Blow Dry Cream. This, I know, was in my very first Ipsy bag back in December, and it took me... 10 months almost to go through this whole thing because I just don't blow dry my hair very much. Um, but this stuff was okay. I don't know that I need to go out and purchase a full size because like I said, I just didn't go through it very fast. And I do have a couple of other ones from subscription boxes. But um, yeah, it was fine. All right, I lied. Here is one more hair care item. This was also from an Allure Beauty box. This was the Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Milk Leave-In Spray Conditioner. I liked this stuff. It actually went really fast, so I didn't get that many uses out of it. And there's a little bit left down in here, but it wasn't coming out through the spray, so I just considered it done. I did like it, but because it went so fast, I wouldn't buy a full size, because I know this stuff is expensive and it probably wouldn't be worth it to me. It wasn't anything amazing, but it was nice to try. All right, now onto skincare. I've got quite a few different things here. Um, first up is this um, Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Age Cream. Just a little sample of this. I use this as a night moisturizer for about a week or so, and it was okay. I don't know why I'm smelling it. There's nothing left in here. And it was okay. I don't think it was anything like earth shattering, but it was pretty good. Here's a little trial size of the Ole Henriksen Ultimate Lift Eye Cream. I got this as like one of the little perks that you can get from Sephora, you know, when you do a $25 order. Um, I have another Ole Henriksen Eye Cream. Um, I think it's called the Truth Cream. I like that one better personally. Um, this one was okay, but it kind of burned my eyes. And I don't know if my eyes have just gotten more sensitive as I've gotten older or what, but I used to never have that kind of problem. And lately I've had two different eye creams that burn my eyes, and I don't think I've ever had that problem before. So. I would not repurchase that. I have two toners. Here is a little sample of the Olay Active Botanicals Moisturizing Toner. This was from a Target Beauty Box over the summer and I really like this so I purchased a full size. And then here is the Proactive uh, Revitalizing Toner. This is something that I've had sitting around forever and so I just needed to use it. And I actually really do like this. I used like the whole Proactive system for a long time and it is a really nice system if you've got a lot of acne. It really does work. As I've gotten older, I don't think I need anything that harsh anymore, but this is a pretty good toner. I looked it up to see if I could just purchase the toner on its own. And it's like hella expensive, so I don't think I'm going to purchase that anytime soon. I will just stick with my um, Olay one, which was like half the price I think. Here's an exfoliator. This is from the Time Balm. It's the Kiwi Facial Scrub. Um, I bought this on Hot Look and I think this has since been discontinued which is probably why it was on Hot Look. Um, I hated it and I there is still some in there. I don't know it's maybe like to here so I probably used at least two-thirds of it. I can't use it anymore. The exfoliators are little wax beads and they just like stick to your hair and it was like driving me insane. Like every single time I use this, like hours later after I took a shower, which is where I use this, um, I would just like like find tons and tons of those little wax beads in my hair and like they would even stick to my face sometimes and it was just getting worse. I think the longer I had this product like the stickier those little wax beads were getting so it was time to say goodbye to this thing. Here is a serum. This is from Naturalico and I got this on Amazon and I will link to this and everything else that I talk about today down in the description box in case you're interested in checking anything out. Um, but like I said, this is from Natural Eco, and it is the Vitamin C 20% Vitamin E Hyaluronic Acid Professional Anti-Aging Serum. Like I said, I got this on Amazon, and it's decent. Um, I'm working through a whole bunch of different serums that I have right now, so I wouldn't repurchase this one right away, but maybe in the future if I needed one, um, this is one that I would consider. Here's a little sample of the Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream, um, Brightening Eye Cream to Fade Dark Circles. 
I've tried a couple of these different like fade creams and I don't think they really do anything. I use this up because I had it but it's not something that I'm interested in trying again. I have one mask this month. This is the Creamy Coconut Mask. I think it's from Montaigne Genus or whatever that brand is called. It smelled a little weird but it felt nice. It was really creamy. Um, so this time of year and you know going into winter or something like this I think would be good for a lot of people because it is nice and hydrating. Um, so yeah, I definitely would consider purchasing that one again. All right, one last thing in skincare. I have a little box of the Olay 4-in-1 Daily Facial Cloths. This is the sensitive version. Um, before I used these, I was using the exfoliating version, and I like those a lot better. These ones aren't bad, and I bought like four or five boxes of these for like super cheap at CVS, so I have a lot to get through before I can go back to the exfoliating ones. Um, but if I were to repurchase, I would get the exfoliating ones over the sensitive ones. I have quite a bit of makeup actually that I went through this month. Um, the first thing is this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. This was in the color Embrace. I talked about this before, how I got it, and it was totally busted. It's a beautiful color. I wish I didn't have to throw it away, but it's just so messy that it's not worth keeping around. Um, and I think probably by now it's all dried out. Um, if you can find this color and it's not all busted up, I definitely would recommend it. Um, but I know these are getting really hard to find. You might still be able to get them on the Milani website though. And the formula on these is absolutely incredible. I have two other ones that I just love. So really sad to throw this one away. Here's a Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. This color is way too dark for me. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, it's medium beige. I'm not medium. I used to think that this was my color, and I think actually this is darker. Um, the matte version is darker than the regular version, um, which is what I used to get. Um, so I don't know what I was thinking with this. It's way too dark for me. It's been about a year since I've worn my Bare Minerals, and literally I wore this for 12 years straight. There was nothing else that I put on my face except Bare Minerals for 12 years. Um, so I was kind of missing it the other day, and I went to go look at it, and then I just like looked at the color and said, no, mm -mm. what was I thinking? I know now to never buy this color again, um, but I was thinking about it. I do miss this stuff. I, it's really, really easy to apply on like, just like a no makeup makeup kind of day when you're running out the door. So I would consider purchasing this again, and I definitely want to, but I'm not going to until the spring, because the reason why I switched back to liquid foundations last year was because um, buffing this in just like really made my skin flake and look terrible, and I think it was doing that because it was just so dry out in the winter. If I were to wait until like next spring or summer, I don't think I would have that problem. I hope I don't because I do really want to repurchase this. Two lip balms this month. They are both these Soft Lips Lip Cubes. This pink one is totally done. I love this scent. This is the Pomegranate Blueberry. And then this is the mint one. It is not done, um, as you can see. But my son was sick a couple weeks ago, and he slathered this all over his lips, and his nose was all running. And after I saw him doing that, I just decided that this just needed to go because I don't want to put this now anywhere near my mouth after I saw that. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love my son, but that's pretty gross. And I'm actually wearing the necklace that he made me from the Kawaii Box bead kit that we got. We had so much fun with that the other day. I just thought this was so cute and so sweet of him to make that for me. Here is a little sample of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primers. Um, there's like four different ones in here. I don't know how long I've had this. Definitely a couple of years and I have so many eyeshadow primers right now that I'm just going to declutter this. Here's one eyeliner this month. This is the Laura Geller um, Eye Calligraphy Classic Tip Liquid Liner in black. Um, if I go like this it's okay but if you just use just the tip of it um, it's pretty dried out, so I'm just going to call this one, throw it away. Um, you know, I've used these a few times, these kind of like um, marker style eyeliners, and they're not my favorite. I'm sure I'm in the minority, but I really just prefer like a regular old pencil eyeliner, um, one that you sharpen, or even the twist up ones are okay. Um, I don't know, I just have always preferred those, so these aren't my favorite. Um, I have a couple other ones, so I definitely will use them. But I have two lipsticks this month. This one is the Blast Flip Stick from CoverGirl. I was going through my old diaper bag the other day and I found this. So it has been in there for years because I haven't used that thing in a very long time. Um, and I don't love the colors on this. This is like a gold color on one side and like a like a red, pinky red on this side. And this side isn't too bad, but I just have so many lipsticks and who knows like when I bought this. I don't remember at all, um, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Here's a liquid lipstick from Hourglass. I'm so upset about this one. I absolutely love these. I did a review on these a couple months ago, so I will link it up here in case you want to check it out. Um, I don't know if I just got an old one to begin with or what, but this is all like separated in here. And when you go to like take out the doe foot, like there is no product on there hardly at all. And you can't like swirl it around to get any more on there um, just because this is so short. You know, it's just such a tiny little bottle. So unfortunately I'm going to throw this away. I think this was like 10 bucks at Sephora. 
Um, if you can get a new one, it's really good. And I actually have an older one um, that I got last Christmas, the red color. I think it's called Icon. This one is called Canvas. And the icon is fine, so I don't know what happened to canvas. It's a beautiful color. I really, really like it. I have one mascara to toss this month. This is the CoverGirl Super Sizer. This has just kind of taken over YouTube. Everybody loves this one, and I like it, but I just hate how hard it is to take off. And I actually do have another backup of these I got in a Target Beauty Box, and I'll use it, but I don't know that I would repurchase this myself just because it's so hard to take off, and I don't like the way that it makes my lashes feel. Um, but it does really look nice. It really does. Don't get me wrong. I like the way it looks. I just hate the way it does not come off. So, I don't know. I'm on the fence about it, I guess. I have one little makeup setting spray this month. This is the Super Goop Setting Mist with Rosemary. I didn't really like this one. It did have an SPF of 50, which I thought was really nice to have in a setting spray, but I didn't like the way it felt when it was on my skin. Um, it kind of tingled a little too much. It's probably the rosemary that's in here, but I kind of want my setting sprays to be cooling and calming on my skin, and this definitely did not do that. Um, if I could find another setting spray with an SPF that, you know, felt different than this one, I would totally be all about that. Um, but this I would not repurchase. All right, in this bag, I have everything that I finished in my first project pan. If you're interested in seeing those videos and learning more about these products, I will leave a link to the playlist right up here for you. Um, but I'll just go through these really, really quick. Here's the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. The Rimmel, what is this called? Exaggerate Lip Liner in East End Snob. Here is the Cella Eyebrow Pencil in Tantalizing Taupe. Um, here's an eyeshadow single from The Balm's New Dude uh, Palette. This was in the color Fit. Here's the NYX Pore Filler Primer. This is the Rimmel BB Cream. This was The Balm's Mary Luminizer. Here is a NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color, what do I, what do I use, Ash Brown? Yes. Here's my All May Smart Shade CC Cream that separated on me during that project. So, ugh, gross. I cannot wait to throw that away. Here's my Elf Baked Bronzer in St. Lucia. This was my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lipstick in Speak Your Mind. And then the very last thing in that project was my Tarte Muse Cheek Stain. All right, I thought that was the last of it, but I have two makeup removers to go through. This is my Neutrogena makeup remover. I had one of these in my last empties video, and I ended up going through a whole nother bottle. I'm not even going to go into why, but I had something major to clean up one day, so yeah. I'll just leave it at that. And then here are some All May makeup remover pads. These are the soothing and depuffing ones. Um, I think I like the Lash Care ones better, the green ones, but these work just fine, really. So that was everything for my empties this month. I know it was a lot. Hopefully this video won't be too long, but if you are still here, thank you so much for watching today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like. We can also connect on Instagram. I will leave a link to mine somewhere down there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!